There is evil in this world. This is not our home. We have to remember that. Yes, there's, there's places of protection. And I want to tell you, this is the hope I want to give you, is that there are places that were sheltered under the shadow of his wing. Let not your heart be troubled. Let it not be afraid. All these things that the Bible speaks about. And there are some things I'm going to share with you that the Bible says. But I do want to read in Ezekiel chapter 33 concerning the evil on this, in this world. Say to them, and I'm saying to them, whoever's listening, that do not know Jesus Christ. Because I want to say something about this. You know, I was in a little perplexing mode about... Uh, the evil in the world, the people killing in the name of God, saying that that's, they're doing God's service. You know what the Lord showed me? He said that people who live under that hate, I don't care if they're a religious group or just an individual, and they live under this area of hate, those that do not know the Lord cannot possibly know what it's like to be loved, cannot possibly know how to love, because they haven't received Jesus Christ, who is love, made in the flesh of God in heaven. So if the person has not received Jesus Christ into their life, they cannot possibly know what it's like to be loved, to walk in love. It's a choice to choose the Lord. People who do not choose him will never feel peace, will never feel the love, this kind of love, not, not just love, I love you, but unconditional, perfect love that destroys fear and torment. This is the kind of love I'm talking about that you can only have in Jesus Christ. And so the Lord began to show me to pray for those, for more, for people to be more, to, for, for salvation. For that, pe that people would receive Christ because they can never understand true love until they have received Christ. So people who are in that area of, of being angry and hateful and, and all this other stuff, they, they're just, there is no hope for them. The only hope that they have is if they turn their hearts over to Jesus Christ. Now I know that some of you are Christians and you're going, wait a minute. I want that love. What about, I don't have that kind of love, that unconditional love. I've got fear and I'm, and I'm a Christian. Well, I do a whole teaching on my website at truthfreeze.org. You can access it for free. There's no charge. It's a nonprofit organization. And you can actually study how to receive your Father's love in heaven. Because until you receive it, the love yourself as a believer, you're going to be in fear too. But the difference between you as a believer and them that are not, you have opportunity to receive that kind of love. And by the way, you are being loved. You might not receive it or understand it, but God is loving you. As a matter of fact, you could probably say God has shown you many things. He's protected you along the way. He's provided for you. You've seen his hand work in your life. Maybe not as much as you would hope because of our own junk in our hearts that's preventing good things from happening to us, as Jeremiah 5.25 says, but that we have hope. We have uh, been sealed by the Spirit for salvation. People who are outside of Christ, I don't care what religion they think that they have, they have not confessed Jesus Christ is the Son of God, did not confess the, with their mouth, that God has raised him from the dead, and that he sits alive and well at the right seat of the Father, they're not saved. They don't have a relationship with this God of love that I'm talking about. The God that they serve is not a God of love. And so I want to read this scripture for those that know the Lord, to understand about the evil, and for those that are evil, to hopefully want the God that I serve, the God that I love, and the God that loves me. Ezekiel 33, 11. Say to them, as I live, says the Lord God. Now, interestingly enough, as I live, he's alive. What other religious personalities is alive? He's the only one that proclaims that he's alive. 
As I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. Do you know that the Bible says that he has, he, he has love and compassion to the unbelieving, to the unrighteous? You know, many people say, well, why do people that are good die young? You know, you hear that song, the good die young. The people that are evil and wicked seem to live longer because God's giving them more of a chance to come to know him. He doesn't want anybody to perish. He wants every person. Every person, because every person is a living, breathing soul. Every person, regardless of what religious background that they are or what nationality or any of that, it doesn't matter. What he's concerned with is the soul of the person. We as Christians need to wake up. We need to open our eyes. We need to look out at what's going on in the world. And we need to take a stand in our faith. In our own homes. Do not tremble under what's going on in the world. Do not crumble under the evil that's going on around you. Do not. The Bible says do not fear. Let not your hearts be troubled. It says let not because we obviously could. But let not. Those that truly believe God, truly know His uh, sovereignty, His provision, and His care, truly know and have received that perfect love of Him, won't have this fear. So I encourage you as Christians, if you are in any kind of fear at this point in your life regarding what's going on around you, maybe in your own personal lives and in your home environment, and if you've got fear in your life, you better go to God and say, Father, I'm in fear. That means I'm not receiving your love. Because the Bible says that perfect love casts out all fear and torment. Well, I'm having fear and torment, God. I guess I'm not being made perfect in your love. Father, forgive me for not recognizing your love and not receiving it. I receive it now. I ask for your love to flood me right now so that I have no fear. So I'm going to pray that perfect peace into your heart right now. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your love, because it's your love that casts out all fear and torment. I pray that every person listening, that they would receive your perfect love in a degree that they've never received before, and that those individuals who do not know you personally, that they would receive your love right now in the person of Jesus Christ for their salvation confessing their sins and accepting him as Lord of their life. Father, I pray for peace, I pray for hope, and I pray for your perfect love that casts out all fear and torment in the name of Jesus. Amen.